So when they have their membership, mm -hmm. they get access to the studio mm -hmm. and obviously the equipment and everything. Mm -hmm. But let's say they don't know how to film, they don't know how to edit. Then no do y'all help with that? We do. So we keep <laughs> in-house creators, we call them. So they're they're photographers, videographers, and content creators themselves. They're actually fully working under Outrun Media Group doing our stuff, but they help all the creators inside here, anything they need. So um, some of them are also musicians. So we have musicians coming and going all the time, offering classes for those musicians that are here. And we set up a small stage up front, um, kind of in our little tiny desk area over there. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, so we allow so them to come in and use anything and get help. And we've actually partnered up with K-City Promotions, ran by Elsa, right here in Kinston, North Carolina to help all of our uh, creators get access to events and promotions. So we're gonna be hosting oh, wow. some large events and uh, as well as our film festival coming in November. Down East what? Flick Fest. Y'all got a film festival coming in November? In November, right down here in Kinston, North Carolina, and Elsa will be helping us do all that. So um, look for more OMG and K-City Promotions collaborations on future events and um, yeah, things coming to here to Kinston. <laughs> Wow, OMG. <laughs> well, I'm excited. You're going to have to plug us in. I got you. I got Definitely you. Plug us in yeah, for sure. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Guys, guess what just what? got here? What just got what here? Is what is that? Yeah, I don't know that. Is that the. It's oh my God. Oh, <laughs> wait, what hold on. Yeah. We oh, were OMG. 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 We were expecting this. Yes. So, what, yeah. what is it? Can we see? I mean, I, I could tell you. It's but I'd, I'd yeah. better, I'd yeah, sure. It's better if you show I'm, I'm just as excited to open this box. <laughs> like, it's, it's unopened, as you see. Like, I didn't just crop this in stages. Like, <laughs> what is oh, happening? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the OMG by Tabara Taylor. Made in Italy. All right. So Wait, so you're it? a shoe designer? Yeah. A live shoe. A live shoe. <laughs> oh, man. And we officially have just received in our first pair of the official. <gasps> oh my goodness. OMG, it's the OMG. OMG. <laughs> These are the OMGs. It's the OMGs. Okay, we gotta take it. Rip me out the plastic. I've been brand new. <laughs> Joining us now is Tabara Taylor, known as T Sacks, aka Queen of the Vibe. How are you, Queen? I'm good, Queen. How are you? I am doing good. So tell us about your role at OMG. Oh man, this role at OMG one, it keeps my hands full. And let me start off with saying I'm very blessed to be able to be in this position as an artist. Um, I have been promoted as the studio manager. When we first talked, I was the music director. Okay. Um, <laughs> first okay, of the promotion. Month, yes, first of the month, I got promoted as the studio manager, so I oversee all of the day-to-day -day happenings here at Outrun Media Group Creative Studios, from the recording studio to rehearsals to creative content. I'm yes. just the go-to point person now for everything in here. So how do you help and what do you do for aspiring entertainers like yourself? Oh my goodness, thank you for that question. Yeah. I love talking about it. <laughs> you know how to ask you. Yes, being an artist, there's a lot of experience that we end up getting firsthand. There's really not a playbook, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, there's not a how to be a rapper for dummies out there. And, and if it is, somebody send me one. Um, <laughs> Um, there's nothing really out there that gives us a playbook or a step-by-step -step on what mm -hmm. to do. So in my position, not only am I able to furtherly thrive as an artist, you know what I mean, and further my education, mm -hmm. I'm also able to put other artists and other creators in a position to where though maybe we can take half of that life experience you end up needing and learning, yeah. and put it in a playbook and yeah. show you the step-by-step -step before you have to bump your head mm -hmm. and fall sometimes. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's not an easy thing to do to be able to say, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna follow my dreams today. Right. You know, so maybe if we could take Take half that trouble away from you and be able to show you, hey, you need to do this and get your BMI and register your songs. Yes. Stuff that it takes us years to And learn. masters too, and right? Masters On your masters. Knowing yeah. what your paperwork should look like. Mm -hmm. um, so in my position, I'm really able to give a firsthand experience to the mm -hmm. artist and to the new creator that they may not have yet. By them watching you. Mm -hmm. So do they shadow you? Oh no, How does it work? hand in hand experience. Okay. They come in with the art that they want to do or the content they want to do. Right. We show them how to correctly build a brand, build a market, you know what I mean? How to properly distribute. Yeah. Um, how to make sure your brand is following the template, you know, right, right. colors and things of that nature. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the in and out stuff that we just don't think about. And artists. how to stand out. Yeah. Like OMG. Like OMG. <laughs> like OMG. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of stuff that we don't think about when we're mic in hand and ready to hit the stage. Right. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot, you know, there's a saying that we have that the music business is only 10% music, mm -hmm. but 90% is actually it's business. It's business, yep. So business. we try to make sure that the business side is what we're definitely informing all the new creators. Right, right. That's true. That is so true. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
That's something to think about there. <laughs> yeah. Like, if ninety percent is business, only ten percent is music. Only ten percent is music. Wow. Make it, like making a hot track is the very first step. That's the easiest thing you mm -hmm. can do. Getting a thousand people to download that track. Let's talk about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, I can only imagine what y'all go through. Yeah, so you're an artist. Do yes, you rap? Do you sing? I rap and sing. Okay. Um, I, you do both. I do. I don't like to put myself in a box and tell you I'm a trap rapper, I'm a drill rapper because I'm very versatile. Um, I've even done rock and roll. So You make beats too? Yes, I have recently started making beats. Ooh, um, you let us hear your beats I today. I would love to let you hear my beats. I started back in 2016. I had this dream to create what was called Funk Hop, mm -hmm. where we mix funk and hip hop. And lo and behold, we are in like Kansas, North Carolina, which is the birthplace of funk. The birthplace of funk, So baby. maybe Funk Hop may be making a little grand interest to y'all soon. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> but recently, yeah. I just, you know, having the equipment, thanks to Josh and Brian, you know, yes. they, even with Making hiring an artist, you know what I'm saying? You're bridging the gap with the creators, yeah. you know? You're not just hiring a face with a degree, you're hiring somebody who's living. This, who's actually you know I mean? doing, it. doing it. Yeah, doing it. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Imagine trying to get reporter feedback from somebody who just literally does nothing. Don't but know anything about it. They don't yeah, go yeah, out yeah. here. They don't find stories. Right, do nothing. right, right. But they can tell right. you everything about how to do your job. They can tell you everything about how to do your job, but don't do it. Don't do it, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> being able to be an artist, you know what I'm saying, and do my thing and being yeah. on the front four lines, oh, man. I it can't is. even imagine how I, love it. I could just tell like I love your hair, your colors, your <laughs> vibe, you. like your yes. spirit, your energy, just, yes. <laughs> Everything is just here. Yes, really. Yes. Thank so you. why did you create your label Vibe Addicts Entertainment? Oh man, Vibe Addicts Entertainment. Um first let me explain the name. Uh as you see, as like you just said, everything is everything a vibe. is a vibe. <laughs> um my vibe comes from my emotional state. Um you know, I suffer mm -hmm. with anxiety, so shout out to anyone that suffers with mental health. Let's mm -hmm. break the stigma. Let's right, talk about yes, it. yes. Um I have anxiety as well as PTSD and depression mm -hmm. so my vibe comes from making sure that my mental is never disturbed mm -hmm. so I take my vibe as serious as I take my mm -hmm. mental health if that makes mm -hmm. sense that makes sense um, the yeah. addict side of it all is I am the product of two recovering addicts um, wow. Yeah, both of my parents were formerly drug addicts. Okay. And it was always drilled into my head, don't take a drink. You know, it's mm -hmm. doubly in you, mm -hmm. you know. Um, mm -hmm. It's in you hereditarily at this right. point. Right, right. Because you have two parents who had addictive personalities. Right. Mm -hmm. And after, you know, 20-something years of being told, don't be an addict, don't be an addict, don't be an addict, don't be an addict, it kind of just had this ring in the back of my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, And the one thing I found myself addicted to was my vibe. Mm. So vibe but that's a good thing though. Yeah. That's so a good thing to get it into. Name wise was really born from me. You know what I mean? Um, how I really see my life and mm -hmm. music, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, vibe as entertainment was born to do exactly what I'm doing here. We were never yes. meant to be bad boy. I never wanted to be rocky fellas. None of, none of that. I wanted to be the startup label that the artist who has never written a song came to to learn how to write music. Wow. I okay. To be so the you're starting point for the artist who's never released a music video who needs to know what to do. You know what I mean? Because so many times with these labels, they want the person that's already sweet packaged and ready to go. Right. Mm -hmm. But who's catering to the up and coming creator? So ironically, to run into Mr. Josh, and we literally want to do the same exact thing, and I already had the music thing going. Oh yeah, OMG and the vibe have now snapped together. So you're saying it's a collab. It's a collab. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. Yes, it's always a vibe. Shout out for y'all. It's always a vibe. So yeah, Vibe Ass Entertainment was born to do exactly what we're doing here at OMG. Bridge the gap from the artist who thinks they have to have it all together to the artist who's scared to just take a step out and say, yeah. hey, I want to do this. So you teach people how to write songs too? Yes, we do song composition. I do song coaching. I also do vocal coaching. So if anybody just needed some vocal coaching, prediction, enunciation, even down to learning the scale. Um, I also do a music theory class. So do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Do, you know re, I mean? mi, fa, sol, la, ti, <laughs> The do. basics that we learn in elementary, <laughs> I've come to find out that a lot of our senior generation doesn't know. They really? don't know every good boy does fine. They don't know face in the space when it comes to music. They don't know the difference between a trouble and a bass club. Wow. And I was like, I mean, yeah, I know this. I know that. Wait a minute, I can teach a class on that. So we started offering music theory classes, vocal coaching, drums, guitar. Wow. Anytime you want to learn something, I'm when intrigued. It comes to music, Come on, I think I want to I wanna take a class. We're going to have to do a whole nother, nother segment. segment. Oh, yes. So you can really see it. But yeah, my, my position here is just more fulfilling for me, dream wise, if that makes sense. I love yes. It. I do. I love that. I love that I for love you. It. I love that for OMG yeah. and Vibe. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yes. Yes. It was needed also for Gangsta. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Kinsta just needed that place where, with all this music we got going on, where's it going? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And now we have a company that's going to push it out of Kinsta and yeah. go further. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Go to LA. Let's go. And you know what? This could Kinsta. this could end up being like an actual, mm -hmm. actual headquarters mm -hmm. in Kinsta. Mm -hmm. that's I'm just saying. Pay attention. It could be a, it could be the name. headquarters. <laughs> this is a place Seriously. of funk, right? right? So why not come to OMG? Why not come to OMG and get it all done? Literally, <laughs> you never know. You might just have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our goal is to partner with everybody. We're not for taking money out of anybody's pocket. We're not for competition. Let's all work together. Yeah. So that's the video. Let's all be great together, let's, right? Yes. yes. The other content creators, the other directors, the other promoters. Let's all do this together. So, where do you see the LOC, your LOC vibe mm -hmm. in OMG going in the future? I know we probably put a lot out there. Know, we probably we already really said have. it. We already hit the, um, hit, the, hit the nail honestly, on the head. I know me and Josh both have the same goal. Um, and I think that's what's so intriguing about the fact that Vibe and OMG were able to collab. The end game for us is to make sure that every underserved community throughout the state, mm. throughout the country, you know what I mean? has an OMG studio, yeah. has that one place that the one community that feels like they have nothing to do, it gives them something to do. Yeah. You know, to have that one place where instead of kids are just going out here to the park and going to play basketball, and that's all fine, they creatively tap into something that could change their lives for them. Right, ever. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is one hit. All it takes is one hit. All it takes is one hit. All it takes is one TikTok video. One hit, yep. To go up. Viral, You know what I'm yep. saying? All it takes is one YouTube music video to go up. And most of the time, that's how people get discovered through TikTok. With mm -hmm. Ice Spice, she got discovered through TikTok. Yes, ma'am. You know, she was just, she just was doing her thing. Mm -hmm. You know, doing her thing in the Bronx. And you know what put, I'm her, put her stuff on TikTok, and she went viral. And mm -hmm. look at her now. Yeah. Doing, doing, doing features doing with it. Nicki Minaj. Doing She's signed it. to Sign. Nicki Minaj. Label. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Okay. Yes. Okay. The queen. Yes. The queen herself. Yes. Let's talk about it. <laughs> she just did a feature with Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Now talk about versatility. That's yes. That versatility I speak yes. You know I mean? And that's something I hope here at OMG you also learn. Learn mm -hmm. how to be versatile. You gotta learn you how to be versatile. We have our RNG artist in the that you just met, Flo. Mm -hmm. He'll play with a rock band on drums and sound amazing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the versatility in here is amazing. And imagine being that TikTok creator who's just got it right. Yeah. That can get a professional TikTok mm -hmm. shot and edited. You know what I'm saying? By LA directors. Yeah. That have actually that experience. Yeah, you know? so you're guaranteed to go viral here. You know what I mean? Kinda, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying we have some class whose views went up. I'm just saying we have some class whose views went up. That's uh -huh. all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what we're setting it now is our recording booth. So yes. all the magic. When I say all the magic, even if it's just a voiceover for a cartoon, it's gonna happen right here. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, this recording booth was meant to give the sense of privacy, and I can do it. If that makes sense. And I just love the aesthetics in Thank here. You. you have the lights. You have the beautiful the rainbow cloud lights. Ceiling. The cloud yes. ceiling. It looks like a pretty cloud in here. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it looks like you stepped into a whole nother room. Cloud of Cloud of possibilities. Yeah, a cloud of possibilities. It's a cloud of possibilities yes, in here. Have the AI welcome video, which listen, you gotta come to see it. I would love to share it and show it off, but I don't want the idea to get so much. Okay. Y'all gotta, <laughs> gotta come check it out. But yes, we have an AI welcome message that teaches you and explains everything you need to know about how to operate through your session. And oh wow. One of the first designs we have a view box. A view box? See, there is no way to see the producers and you know, or anything going on on the other side. There so why is, is no that? One, I know it was done on purpose. As, as it was. Because we, <laughs> we were asked like a million times, I need a view box, y'all need a view box. And, you know, I heard that statement from everyone who stays on that side of the booth. Mm. Anyone who's on this side of the booth tells you they don't want a view box. Because mm. seeing to the other side is distracting. Mm -hmm. You have people constantly walking in and out of the room. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on. Right. And your mind is not focused on your sound at that yeah. moment. Yeah. So my goal was to make sound and audio the number one priority mm -hmm. in this recording booth. You know what I'm saying? We're not focused on how you look. You can get in here, you can cry, you can scream, you can do your little happy dance, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and it's just you and yourself. That's why we put a mirror here. Mm. You and you. That's the only person in here. It's a reflection of you. Exactly. Yep. Let, reflection let of your yourself. Be a yes. Reflection of yourself. Definitely. That's exactly the that's the vibe. That's the movement. <laughs> yes. And that's, that's the, vibe. the vibe. Yes. yes Definitely. Yes. Well, it's all gas, no brakes here. Always. Always. <laughs> Thank Always. you so much. Thank you so much. See, I'm so happy you came out. Me too. Come see us again. All right. So this is the drop, y'all, at OMG. Come get a come get a pair.